What's up, guys? Um, so it is Saturday morning, and my parents are downstairs getting breakfast from the lobby. And uh, so I just got ready. I'm gonna go join them. But uh, so we so we're, we're staying at Best Western. And I don't know if you ever stayed at Best Western, but normally they don't get that good reviews. But this one was freaking amazing. There was always hot water in the shower. The beds were really freaking comfy. And I'm sure the breakfast is going to be good. The only complaint I have so far was being woken up at 6.30 in the morning by my mom's hair dryer. Damn, look at this little waffle maker. We got sausage and stuff in there. And eggs. And this reminds me of when I used to work at the daycare. That was an absolutely delicious breakfast. Uh, heading back to the room now so we can grab and go and head to South Carolina. And let me know if you guys also like to mix all three of the cereals into one bowl, because I love it. Click like if you used to jump from one bed to the other when your parents were out of the room. I feel like I'm in Crash Bandicoot, Mom. Isn't this cool? All these turbines. We're stopped somewhere in rural Virginia. We found a gas station. Um, you know, as beautiful as country life looks like, like with all the, the roaming cows and, you know, the big ass houses, I could never live in like a country setting like that. I mean, the fact that a lot of these houses seem like their driveways are like a mile long from the road and the fact that they're literally in the middle of nowhere, I mean, it's probably relaxing as hell, but it's like, for me, like, I like a suburb, you know, I could never do a city because there's too many people, but I like interaction sometimes. So, but it's been nice so far. I just really can't wait to get to the beach. Where the fuck are we? Right When your parents get tired of you moshing and rocking out in the car, so they're forcing you to drive as a punishment. <laughs> Mom, is this a drive through tobacco station? Yes. Yeah. You can get your cigarettes. That's freaking weird. Cigarettes, beer, snacks, and drinks. Right through. Oh, Dad. I, I may need help here. Oh, Dad. So I went into the bathroom there, and the urinal was completely overflowing. But I got a burger for letting the girl know that it was overflowing. Oh, well, we finally made it. Just beautiful. Is that crab on? Yeah. Watch out, he's gonna get you. That's not cool. big pictures, but. Don't matter. I want a dog. Dad, remember when I was. I think it was when I was in Hebrew school, and we every Wednesday we'd always get the Papa John's pizza. We did that for like two months, and then finally I was just completely sick of it. <laughs> yeah, it, wait, what was it? For the elementary school? <laughs> I remember, what was her name? Aaron Goldwasser? I remember we were all eating pizza, and I was like, Dad, I, I just want cereal. I don't, I don't want this anymore. We've had it nearly every other day for was, three weeks. I think it was a month long that every pizza was oh. sold on, like, Wednesday nights. Oh, God. Stafford got a couple bucks. Oh, that was... It was like every other day of, we were eating we pizza. We made a lot of money on that fundraiser. It made my stomach sick. <laughs> Off to an Italian dinner. Wait, what avenue are we on? Route 17. Ocean front. Ocean Avenue? Yeah. There's a place off Ocean Avenue. Do you want to say how much? They don't have like the gazelle one. Oh, I love this freaking show. Doesn't it look so good, Mom? It looks really good. Hey guys, um, sorry for the short vlog today. It's uh, just been a very, very long day. We've all, uh, been really tired from driving from Virginia down to South Carolina. Um, I would have filmed more, 
of us heading through like North Carolina and South Carolina, but we literally took like the back roads and there was just trees. You know, there was, there was nothing really cool to see. I mean, we went through like some like rural towns and stuff, but there was nothing really captivating about it. And plus like my mom was passed out and like me and my dad just kept flip-flopping driving. So, but <laughs> when we got to the, the hotel, uh, we realized um, that our room had already been checked into by someone else. And uh, as a complimentary thing, they upgraded us to this suite. And so it's two king size bedrooms, this like amazing bathroom with a glass enclosed shower, like a deep, big tub, um, a living room, you know, washer and dryer and stuff. So I'm thinking tomorrow when my parents go out golfing in the morning, I'm gonna try and do like an MTV Cribs kind of thing of the uh, of the suite because it really is freaking like amazing. It looks freaking awesome. It's so comfy. Um, as soon as we got here, uh, we just unpacked everything and we walked right to the beach. The beach is literally a half mile walk from here, and you guys saw a little bit of it in the video, but it it was just absolutely beautiful. It was just breathtaking. It was relaxing. It was honestly what I've, what we've all been needing, but I really needed to go on this trip. Things just, <sighs> this helps. This helps a lot. Um, so tomorrow uh, we'll have cribs. Uh, my mom's going golfing for like the first time ever. So hopefully we can speak to her about how that went with my dad. Um, I'm gonna try and go bowling tomorrow. I have homework to do that's due, but I'm pretty sure that we're going to go on the beach tomorrow and tomorrow we're going to do something that's going to be called uh, the Sunday sit down. I'm going to do that every single Sunday. It's going to be in the vlog and what it's going to be is it's going to be a topic. Um, I think tomorrow's topic is going to be, um, it's going to be about friendship. It's going to be about people who stick by your side through the good and the bad and we'll go in depth with it you know because I know that everyone has friends but there's literally only a handful of people if maybe less than that who are truly actually always there for you and they'll always help you and they always motivate you so tomorrow we're gonna talk about that and um, I'm thinking of doing the video on the beach so we'll have like a beach background kind of thing um, so yeah it, it should be awesome um, we, uh, when I showed, uh, the modern family, uh, the, what was it? The cookbook. Um, I put that in there one cause it's like my favorite absolute show. Just a lot of memories with that show. I just freaking love that show. And also, um, since we're in the suite, um, there's no like a breakfast, lunch or, or, or dinner here. So we had to go to the grocery store just down the road and make sure that we had things for breakfast and, you know, like lunch meats and stuff. So we can make sandwiches. So we're not eating out all the time, you know, to save some money down here. Cause you know. A vacation is always an expensive trip, but um, at some point this week we are going to be meeting with a realtor. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the camera on for like when we look at houses and stuff like that, so you guys will be able to see what we're looking at. So that'll be fun. Um, and again, thank you guys so much for actually watching this. And you know, for those of you who who message me, you know, off of YouTube either through Twitter or through my phone number, like. Seriously, thank you. Like, that just absolutely means a lot to me that you guys, um, you know, watch the vlogs and that you like them and that you actually, you know, can comment, can comment and talk to me about them. So, I thought that car was going to run me over. Um, so, seriously, thank you guys so very much. I appreciate it and I hope you all sleep well. Um, I'm not sure what the weather is like back up in Connecticut. I heard there was like a frost warning or something. So hope you guys can stay warm if you're up in the Northeast. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a good night.